Hi friends, in this video we will be uh, taking a look at the Deepcool Gamax 200 CPU cooler. This is a two heat pipe CPU air cooler. So let's first uh, have a brief look uh, on the box itself. So in, uh, in the front of the box you can see some uh, specifications that it supports Intel and EMD both. It has two heat pipes. Uh, it has PWM control uh, and something high performance and on this side of the um, box uh, you will uh, see the list of all these Intel and the AMD sockets that the CPU cooler supports and nothing on the back side of the case and some specifications uh, about the CPU cooler on the side of the case so next so let's get this thing opened up so in the box you will have the two things the first is the main cpu cooler unit and the second uh, will be a box which will have all the accessories to attach to the motherboard so this uh, you can see is the cpu cooler let me just keep it aside for a minute and, uh, and this is the box which contains all the accessories to connect to the motherboard this is the little instruction guide about how to install your CPU cooler and in the box we can see this uh, frame is for connecting the CPU cooler to AMD sockets which I will be using because I have an AMD FX8320 and <coughs> these metal clips are for attaching it to the Intel sockets these are of no use to me now currently I am running the FX8320 on my stock cooler and let me tell you that the stock cooler gives a good performance regarding the cooling right now my core temperature my ideal uh, core cpu temperature is ranging between 11 and 15 degrees celsius yes believe it or not let me show you this is my monitor and let me zoom on the cpu temperature now as you can see my uh, cpu ideal temperature is around 11 degrees celsius and i have tested this uh, at maximum CPU utilization for 15 to 20 minutes uh, the maximum CPU temperature that I have reached is 50 degrees Celsius but the main problem with the uh, CPU cooler the air the stock AMD CPU cooler let me show you the CPU cooler so this is inside my PC case and this is my stock AMD uh, air cooler the main problem with this CPU cooler is that it is freaking loud it is loud like a car engine believe me or not you get so distracted by it during uh, when you play uh, high intensity games or when you render video files it gets really really loud and that is super annoying of course so I'll be changing the CPU cooler to the deep cool Gamax 200 and we will see um, what was the difference in the temperature the ideal and the low temperature that I will achieve and also we will have a look at the uh, noise levels that will be reduced by using the deep deep pool gamax 200 cooler okay so now we are going to install the uh, deep pool gamax 200 cooler but first of all of course we have to remove the stock amd cpu cooler okay so now we have removed the stock amd cpu cooler and now i'm going to uh, clean the thermal paste on the cpu One thing I did was I installed the retention clip of the CPU cooler with these four screws and now I'm going to install the CPU cooler on the CPU. Okay now so as you can see I have installed the CPU cooler. Now I will uh, run some benchmarks and we will uh, see the difference between the idle and the low temperatures of, uh, of the Gamax 200 cooler versus the AMD CPU cooler. Hi friends, this is the second section of this video. I have been using the Gamax 200 CPU cooler for the last two days 
and uh, my observations are this uh, right here you are seeing the uh, idle temperature of the CPU which is around 8 degrees Celsius to around 14 degrees Celsius I've observed and the low temperatures after playing games like Assassin's Creed Syndicate or GTA 5 for half an hour the low temperatures went up to 55 degrees max 54 to 55 degrees maximum so in conclusion after using the CPU cooler for the last two days I would like to say that the CPU cooler was not able to uh, decrease the temperatures and the low temperature which is important ideal temperature is not important whether it is 8 degrees celsius or 15 degrees celsius it is a low temperature that matters the uh, low temperature that i was getting with the amd stock cooler was around the same as that i'm getting with this cooler but one very important thing you have to know that this cooler is dead silent it doesn't make any noise even at 100 percent load I'm barely um, hearing this CPU cooler. Now this is a very important plus point. As uh, you, some of you who have used the stock AMD coolers will probably know that they are very very loud. So um, I'm happy with this cooler. The term temperatures are within range. They are not crossing the um, what you can say the upper limit of the CPU cooler the CPU temperature sorry so one thing I would like to mention here is that um, this CPU cooler is uh, not um, what you can say perfect for my um, processor because uh, the TDB of my processor is 120 to 140 watts but this CPU cooler is meant for the processors below 95 watts but uh, I still bought that this cooler because it is uh, relatively cool here in uh, North India and uh, also the fact that I am not planning to overclock for the foreseeable future. So when I will be planning for overclocking I will probably ban Hyper 2 and 2 Evo but uh, for, the, for right now this cooler is sufficient for me. So this was a review of the Gamax 200 cooler. I hope you find this video informative and make sure to hit the like button below and also consider subscribing to our channel for further upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching this video.